some of you have suffered over many years and some of you still may be and I tell you tonight is the best chance you're ever going to have that this Christ that is in you is desiring to set you free because the end of all flesh is come before God it's the end of all flesh and because of this God wants to change the very atoms in your body. 1 Corinthians chapter 15. And we just put this together for you. It says in verse 42, So also is the resurrection of the dead. I've already told you the resurrection is not an event. We are not waiting for some resurrection. We're not waiting for the great resurrection, whatever that might happen to mean. I want to tell you resurrection is a person and that resurrection dwells in you now. You have the resurrection. So I'm going to read to you what God said or what the Apostle Paul said about the resurrection. And you can have it tonight. This is what I want you to know. You can have this resurrection tonight. Just receive it by faith from the Lord. It says here in verse 43, uh, 42, It is sown in corruption. Talking about your body. It is sown in corruption. That is, when you died in Christ, you were buried in Him. It is sown in corruption. The body that died on the cross was not the body that rose from the grave, from the tomb. When I say it wasn't the same body, I don't mean it was a new body, but it was a transformed body. Because it was not flesh and blood anymore. It was transformed. He says, in verse 42, sown in corruption, but it is raised in incorruption. You can have that transfer tonight right here in this room. Because you have the resurrection. It's Christ in you. That is your resurrection. He's just waiting to rise up in you to bring that resurrection into your experience. It's buried in corruption but in the resurrection it's raised in incorruption it says it's sown in dishonor but it's raised in glory hallelujah it is sown in weakness but it's raised in power come on what else do you want he says here um, it is sown a natural body that's our body our outer man of the dust it is sown what is it a natural body but it's raised a spiritual body transformed every atom in this body will be transformed into the reality of heaven itself oh Lord help us here tonight so in verse 45, the first man, Adam, was made a living soul. A living soul has no way of knowing God. A living soul can never know God unless God instigates that redemption, which he does, of course. But no man can come to the Son except the Father draws him. You see? So God has to do it. It says here, the first man, Adam, was made a living soul. But the last Adam, the last Adam, that was Jesus Christ who died upon the cross. He was the last Adam. What's it mean? There's never been another Adam since the cross 2,000 years ago. Who's Adam? He's the man of sin. Sin has not existed since the cross. Oh, Lord, help us. You see, we've been listening to the lies. 
We have been listening to religion. We have been listening to the church. We have been listening to the church and a lot of other stuff. Listening to preachers who didn't know which way was up. But they were preaching. I want to tell you tonight, God wants to do business with you. It says the first man Adam was a living soul, but the last Adam. What was he? The last Adam was made of life giving the spirit. The last Adam was made of life giving spirit. And he wants to give you life tonight. What kind of life? Eternal life. This is your resurrection. This is your resurrection. And it can be right here in this room tonight. As the Christ just begins to bring you into that death experience that was in Christ. That was your death 2,000 years ago. Because until you die, you can't have a resurrection. You've got to lay down your mortality in order to pick up your eternal life and live for it. Tonight, God wants to bless you. I want you to hide this word in your heart. I don't want you to let the birds get at the, the seed that's been sown in your heart tonight by the Spirit of the Lord. I don't want you to let the birds feed upon it. Hide it with you in your heart and take it into your room that before you go to sleep tonight you will do business with God and you will let him bring the reality of resurrection into your life the transformation I don't care whether you can believe for it or not it doesn't matter God can do that which we think is impossible but he can do it may God bless you encourage you, help you, and be changed.